Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your voice broadcast dialer from tmaxdialer.com using the most common options. Anything not covered in this video can be found in our knowledge base. First, we're going to open your browser. We want you to use Chrome if possible. Then go to this web address, login.tmaxdialer.com. Next, you'll choose your server. As you can see, I've chosen server VB2. Next, you'll put in your email and password that you signed up with. Click I agree. You could choose to remember the password or not and then click submit. As you can see we already have the master template here so we're going to show you how to create a brand new campaign. So click over here on create voice broadcast. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to load the settings in from the master template and then we'll rename it. The caller ID, name and number, this is an update to how to configure your caller ID. If you go into your campaign and you see there's no caller ID to select, we need to add a caller ID. So what you do is go to configure caller IDs, type in the phone number you want to configure, hit add. As you can see it pops up and you have a four digit verification code. You'll click on the handset to call the phone number which will call the phone number to the caller ID, type in the four digit verification code, and you will receive a verification check mark that your account or phone number is ready to be used. Once you have received this check mark, you can use your caller ID on your campaigns. And all you have to do is close this and create a new campaign or go back to edit one and select that phone number in the list. This is what's going to show up on the caller ID when you call someone. You'll never call anybody before 8 a.m. or after 9 p.m. Uh, their time. These are adjustable. Then you click the Options tab. This is your Transfer To number. So if you have a number uh, designated for transfer back, say the number 1 key, this is the number it's going to call. If you have a secondary number, you can put that here. If not, just leave it the same calls per hour. Right now we have the dialer set to make 240 calls per hour. This is the absolute lowest the dialer will go, so we're going to leave that right there for right now. Answering machine detection detects whether or not it's an answering machine. Record transfers does exactly what it sounds like. It's going to record all the calls. Next we'll go to keys. As you can see we set the transfer key up to one. You could choose to have the do not call or DNC key, any key you would like down here on the dial pad. Once this is done, click create. Now you can see our new test campaign right here. Now we're going to load your CSV file. So you'll come over here to the green plus button. We want to add contacts by uploading a CSV file, so we'll click go. Next we'll click the blue load CSV file. Find where your file is located on your computer and click open. Here you can click auto assign and if that doesn't match up just right you can always come over here and choose your options from the choose field. Randomize will completely shuffle the list. Don't upload any phone numbers that are already in this campaign. That'll scrub against any previous lists that have been loaded to a campaign. You must click I'm allowed to call these contacts and then click upload. It does say it could take up to 10 minutes depending on the size of the file. Uh, however, it doesn't take that long and if you notice in the background it's already generated a report for us and you will also receive an email. Next what we want to do is we want to upload our messages to the dialer. So you're going to click right here on this up arrow. As you can see we have the test one in there. There are two different ways to upload a sound file. Uh, you can do it by uploading a WAV file or recording over the phone. So you would name it, you would type in your phone number, click add sound and the dialer will call you. Once you're done you will see it appear here. So if you want to set one as a voice broadcast, you would click that. Or if you wanted to set it as a voicemail, you would click that. Once you're done, you would click copy sound files. After that, you're all ready to go. You hit play to play, stop to stop. Again, if you have any questions about anything I did not cover, those can all be answered right here in the knowledge base. I hope this helps. Have a great day.